sun the floor. Sun the floor. Let's get some WD-40, some thousand grit for the final. Uh, so, what I did here was uh, I sanded the, the deck surface. It was terrible. It needed a good 10 thou taken off the top of the engine. And you can still see it, it has a, another probably 510 right there that needed to be gone. But it was rotted here, rotted here. You know, head gasket blew. Guy had water in it. You know, left it for dead in the back of a field. And uh, he said the guy before him rebuilt the engine, which this was timed to the number, you know, a four-cylinder. It wasn't timed to a three-cylinder. And, of course, you know, this is a three-cylinder. Um, so, yeah, he kind of just, I, I don't know how he got it running or if he ever got it running, but he kind of just left it for dead. And uh, I bought it from him guy before him said uh, he, he said the guy before rebuilt the engine I don't know how he had it run but a anyways um, you got the head gasket the old head gasket here you know maybe that contributed to being the blowout and of course you know the ear was broken off on the uh, timing cover here JB welded it um, uh, back to the deck I sanded this uh, I began with 80 grit and you know stepped my way down to finer and the reason why you want to do that is the 80 grit will get it flat okay it'll cut it it'll cut the high spots you know same thing with body work you, you know you start heavy and work your way finer you know if you start with a fine grit it's going to contour and it's going to possibly get worse. But if you take a rough, a coarse sandpaper, cut it all flat, and then work your way smoother, work your way smoother to a finer and finer cut, and you'll you'll get a you'll get a flat surface. And um, you know this is just a 201 Ford uh, diesel. And uh, it's just a tractor, you know. It ain't winning races. It ain't, you know. It doesn't need to be precision. But I'd like to get it as flat as I possibly can. And like I said, this was, you know, this this was terrible. Um, in one of my other videos, I, I don't know if I had a before picture I can post it or somehow, but... Yeah, this was all rotted right here, eaten up, rotted and eaten up. You know, the guy before me had water in it, left it for dead in the back of a field. I picked it up, and here I am, you know. Got myself a nice tractor. Found out that the clutch, actually, these actually have a problem with the clutch. Um, so this is what happens. You can see this. The nut, okay, strips out, unscrews. That's what happens to these all the time. And um, <clears throat> clutches starts acting funky and grabbing weird. And that's that's what happens. Oh, now this is a Ford forty six hundred and. I'm pretty sure that fits like at least 10 different models for clutches. So, yeah, I'm just going to, well, this is ready for the head. I'm going to take some cleaner and clean off the WD-40, make sure, blow out all the holes. But, um, yeah, in my other video, I measured the piston, extending out the deck. Um, Head gasket thickness is going to be around uh, 20, 30 quench with a 54 thou head gasket. And uh, 
that that's good you know more compression for a diesel more heat for a diesel that's good as long as you don't over eat it so anyways um yeah that's where i'm at i'll give you some updates as i go and probably more videos to come see you